Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Kenny's Movie Palace for another movie review. Um, this next one um, I got last week from Whatnot, and I watched it, and this was really good. I highly recommend this, and this is... Dun, 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 dun. Are you there? God, it's me, Margaret. This movie has Rachel McAdams, the girl from The Notebook, Kathy Bates, won an Oscar for Misery. And this girl right here, remember her name, folks, Abby Ryder Fortson. Abby Ryder Fortson. This is based on the Judy Bloom book that came out in the 1970s. Um, I remember, I read a lot of, even though I'm a boy, I read a lot of Judy Bloom books because I grew up uh, in a house, in, in a neighborhood with four <laughs> four uh, girl cousins and we'd go to the library and we would share our books like you usually do at a library but they would read like our hardy boys books or choose your own adventure remember to choose your own adventure ones in the 70s and we would read the judy bloom like uh chocolate fudge and um this one i can't remember uh but we i remember uh my cousins getting um the judy bloom like uh three pack of books and stuff uh for christmas and we were all like big readers back then but um this movie takes place in the 70s and um rachel mcadams is married to a jewish man right here she's christian and he's jewish and what happens is um, he gets a promotion from his job and they lived in a like a com like a apartment complex in New York in the 70s right next to his mom right here played by Kathy Bates. So he gets a promotion to move to uh, uh, nor northern Jersey, basically across the river. And um, uh, it's basically the effects of the little girl who's 10 at the time um going and moving into a new place where she's had has like all of her friends her school you know her grandmom who she absolutely adores and the grandmother is very much into this little girl's life you know taking her to plays and you know shopping with her and stuff like that and basically what happens is she has she has no this isn't a very religious so if you're getting into like oh i don't want to deal with religion basically um the um the father and mom are jewish and the mom is christian and she has basically no religion anymore so basically what happens is she hooks up on the first day with these four little girls up here and they're her uh, best friends in school. The one girl, the blonde right there, she lives like literally in the cul-de-sac where they live in uh, New Jersey. And she befriends her on the first day of moving, you know, going, running through the sprinklers, which really cracked me up because I don't think kids know what that is anymore. When you didn't have a swimming pool, your mom would put out a sprinkler and you would just like you and, you know, I remember the six of us running in the backyard under the sprinkler and my mom getting a hose and spraying it on us and stuff like that. So this kind of made, made me, excuse me, uh, sentimental, um, for that time and how everything was like really simple. Like even like with PTAs, uh, Rachel McAdams joins the PTA and the mom's like wanting to, you know, uh, do like everything to help her kid, you know, get, you know, better, like, you know, a kind you know, used to the area and stuff in, uh, in New Jersey. So she joins all these committees and stuff like that on the PTA. And, um, it just made me laugh because my mom did the same thing for us when she was in the PTA. So, um, but this, this, this is a beautiful movie. Uh, it's rated PG 13. I would say if you have 10 year, 10 year old girls and up, I would recommend it for them because, they're going through the same thing that the uh, preteens uh, go through. Like, um, they have, like, a the, the four girls have a secret committee, uh, like, a community. And um, her, her mom and dad are, like, very well off. So they have this, like, big, huge house. She always says that, like, during the movie, come to my big, huge house. We'll all have a, um, a meeting uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the school year, and uh, at the end of the uh, school day, 
and basically she's reading like all the stuff that like you had like in 16 candles about like increasing your busts you know so she's like uh we they uh I remember my cousin used to do that too. Not doing, well, she ain't gonna watch us anyway. But she goes, we must, we must, we must increase our bust. We must, we must. And um, it just the little touches like that. And I remember, you know, them doing it and it just made me smile uh, from watching this movie. So I gave this four out of five Whoppers. This little girl is going to be a star. She kind of reminds me of uh, Maya Bialik. Um, Amy Farrah Fowler when she was little in Beaches. She's got that, she's got that like look to her. She's a very pretty girl. And I th I really think she's going to be a big, big star, it, you know, in the right, in the right hands. But this movie, if you have uh, pre, pre-teens or teenagers, especially watch us, watch us, moms, watch us with your, uh, little girls i think they'll really like this and uh i, I really enjoyed this a, a, a lot um i just got it for the uh, for uh kathy bates and rachel mcadams but i really really love this movie so um check it out if you haven't seen it uh let me know if you read any judy bloom books or if you've ever seen this or heard of this uh movie before so like comment subscribe let me know below. Uh, I'd be re really interested in, uh, in knowing. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you later and uh, take care. Have a great day.